Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. I've been away for a few days, a bit slow on the videos, but I'm back now and I'm refreshed and I'm excited because this has arrived. Now this is, I'm not gonna surprise you too much, it is the FX True Ballistic Chronograph. Now, although FX have made smaller chronographs before that use the ballistics, so you use the radar to, to measure projectile speed for air rifles up to about 1100 feet per second, this one will work for all rifles between 400 and 4000 feet per second. Um, I did a little bit of research online and reading about it, but I've also, uh, I saw this at the British Shooting Show back in February and uh, I've been looking forward to it ever since. Now, many of you will have heard of lab radars. Lab radars are very good, but I've never actually had one long term. I have used them, but there's been a little bit of problem with supply on them. And hopefully the FX is going to offer very similar capability. Now this is going to measure your projectile speed, it measures it at multiple distances at multiple times so it can actually generate an accurate G1 or G7 ballistic coefficient, G1 or G7 ballistic coefficient for you, which will allow you to get better data into your ballistic solvers and true your data better and hopefully make those long range shots a little bit more accurate, but we shall see. So we'll pop this out of here see what's in it make sure there's no invoice which there is I'll just pop the invoice out of the way and here we are so it comes in a rather nice case uh, I think it weighs weighs just under two pounds overall and it has an integral USB-C battery no a USB-C charged battery um, number one I love a good instruction manual and that actually sets it off very well straight away because that is easy to work through and it doesn't rely on you using your phone app or something, you know, diddling around with one hand, not being distracted by that whilst working on the other. So this looks excellent. It gives all the details about setting up positioning and what the display and readout is going to do. Now this is just a first impressions look, to be honest, because I will be doing a full review on this and I hope to be using this quite significantly throughout uh, my usual rifle review procedure. So that box has obviously got a padded top there and this looks like it. So on the base there, we've got a quarter inch UNC um, threaded mount, which is familiar to basically any camera tripod system. So that will do that. And we can mount this on something similar and we shall put this in use. Now I need to just find out exactly how that works because I think that comes out of there but we shall just need to double check that before we damage anything. So yeah, there's just a little bit there, you open up and out it slots. And there we go. So that looks like it goes on there. Tighten that in place. There's a little thumb screw on the inside. You can probably see there or there. And then we've got a USB-C charging cable there, which we'll probably charge it with overnight tonight because I hope to get using this immediately and then there is an on off button now there's obviously some battery left in it but essentially all we have to do tap power button to activate so i'll tap that so that is now working and it's giving me a readout there in feet per second and yards now i presume i can probably swap this over to metric which i probably will do although i can measure either way that doesn't particularly matter to me and uh, there's a battery indicator on there configuration previous let's just have a little quick look at these and see how See what these do. Ah, oh, these are buttons in the corner off the screen there. So that's going to give me my statistics afterwards. So number of shots, low, high, standard deviation, G1 BC, um, average BC, uh, subsonic. Oh, that was, I think that gives the distance to which the, uh, the actual projectile goes subsonic. So if I just tap previous and next, I'm oh, sorry, I'm pressing that screen. I'm so used to touch screens these days. I do actually prefer proper buttons. I don't know why I'm obviously indoctrinated to the touch screen. But that gives me the various display screens, so that's screen one, um, screen two, screen three, I hope this will work on the ceiling camera but I'm not entirely sure. And then obviously we've got clear functions which will allow us to reset and delete. So I'll be working through the full instruction manual on this, that is obviously the USB-C charging point there. But essentially once we've set that up, taken it out there and unclipped it, which I didn't even read the instructions and this is how far I've got. I just placed that on the bench with my barrel somewhere here 
and shoot away and that will give me instantaneous readout of all the facts and figures I need to do with my projectile speed and ballistic coefficient if I need that as well. Right, please like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell which is there underneath my ear defenders and keep track of my regular uploads because this is going to be getting a serious review and lots of long-term use I hope. Thank you for watching, bye for now.